And this next fight, we got Daniel Golden Boy Zell Huber. He's taking on Francisco Prado. And two young guys that are going to be coming in here looking to see who's the better prospect of the two. You got Daniel Zell Huber, who lost his UFC debut to Trey Ogden at a pretty pitiful showing in that fight, but has bounced back with two nice wins. Got to finish his last fight over a veteran in Chris Josiagos. And Francisco Prado came in the UFC against Jamie Malarkey. Lost that fight, got kind of dominated over three rounds, but he was able to come back at the knockout win over uh, a Zaytar who had not fought in a long time, but there was a grudge match there and Francisco Prado was able to catch him with a really slick knockout in the first round. So he's coming in here with some momentum. Daniel Zohuber's coming in here with some, some momentum and we're going to see who wins in this prospect battle. We got two different... Um, builds here as well francisco prado more kind of a he's not short for the division at 510 he's probably average sized but kind of um strong muscular kind of uh short stocky build not really long arms or anything like that whereas daniel zohuber has that long frame 6'1 so he's only two inches taller than prado but he has an eight inch reach advantage in the arms super long arms super long legs and just kind of a you know very long and lanky type of guy and you see Zell Huber early, and I think he's going to correct this. Early, it seems like he has to take shots to find his range and rhythm. And then once he gets hit early, he really starts to settle in and he could pick you apart and use his length. But I think he needs to figure out how to avoid getting hit early to set up his range and, uh, you know, take that part out of his game. Because someone eventually could hurt him and knock him out. But, um,. In this matchup, I think he's significantly better on the feet technically than Francisco Prado. I really don't think Prado has the greatest striking. I mean, the guy is a knockout artist, and that's really what he brings. Like, he comes forward. He's a little plotty. I don't think he's the fastest guy, but he can explode in fast. Like, when he, can, when he actually goes with his feet work, he kind of plods in. But then when he actually explodes in, he has some ability to close the distance quick. And you'll throw these wild techniques like spinning elbows, uh, big punches, and he's good at finding the chin. So early on, he's going to have a chance to run Zell Huber into something crazy and potentially get the knockout. I think Zell Huber definitely wants to avoid being in that dirty boxing range with Prado because that's where Prado has the most dangerous attacks with his elbows. I think his elbows are really nice. But at distance, Prado doesn't really throw that often. He doesn't bring too much. He doesn't have good basics. And I think Zell Huber is going to be able to beat him up and be a lot higher volume at distance. And then Prado has bad wrestling, bad wrestling defense as well. So I think Zell Huber, you know, he's had a, a few years now where he's been training at Extreme Couture. And he can wrestle. He can grapple. He has good front chokes. I feel like he could mix in some clinch control. He could mix in some takedowns here on Prado and be successful with that. I think that could be a smart way to make Prado hesitant to be wild and actually throw and uses dynamic ability which is his path to victory to find the knockout but I just don't see Prado having the technicality to win a stand-up fight with Zell Huber long term if it goes to a distance or it goes any significant amount of minutes I think he's gonna have to catch him early on before Zell Huber finds his range and his rhythm and I think that Zell Huber has the advantage in the wrestling and grappling department as well so I feel like Zell Huber has a lot of advantages here and is the clearly superior fighter Prado has a chance to get a knockout with his dynamic ability, but I think Zell Huber is going to end up getting the win here and looking pretty good doing it.